Investing in mutual funds can be like ordering food from a menu. You have so many options to choose from and each one has its own benefits and risks. How do you decide which one is right for you? Hello and welcome to our channel 5 Minute Finance by ET Money where we talk about the basics of personal finance. We have two more channels, ET Money Hindi where you can watch all these videos in Hindi and if you are looking for analytical and slightly advanced topics on investing, you may go and check out our channel ET Money. With more than 40 different mutual fund houses, 37 categories to pick from and over 1500 schemes and 2500 scheme options, it can be quite a daunting task to figure out the best mutual fund schemes to meet your long-term goals. So to simplify your investing decision, in today's video, we are going to look at two-step guide to picking best suitable funds for a new investor. Step one will be to identify the ideal mutual fund categories. And step two will be to identify the best funds in those categories. Let's begin with step one. The three categories suitable for new investors are equity linked savings scheme ELSS funds, large cap index funds and balanced advantage funds. Now let's understand these categories in detail. We'll also look at their performance and who should be investing in them. If you are a new investor and are looking at tax saving under the old tax regime, you may consider the equity linked savings scheme, also known as the tax saving mutual funds. The USP of these funds is that they help investors to save income taxes of up to 46,800 rupees under section ATC every year. They come with a lock-in period of three years. These funds have to invest at least 80% of the funds in equities and the fund manager can decide how much to invest in the large cap companies, how much to invest in mid-sized companies and how much in the small companies. Now let's look at the most interesting part, the returns. So the average returns of ELSS funds in the last five years have been around 15.45%. The average five year SIP returns stood at 18.8%. Now understand it like this. If you had invested in an average performing ELSS fund five years ago, your money would have more than doubled to over 2 lakh rupees. And a monthly SIP of 10,000 rupees for five years would have made you a gigantic 10 lakh rupees. So ELSS funds have two big benefits for investors, tax saving and also help in wealth creation. Now, which are the best funds in the ELSS category? Well, we'll learn about them shortly. If you are a new investor but are not looking for tax saving and you want to go for the very easy to understand funds, you may consider large cap index funds. These funds simply replicate the stock market index like Nifty 50 or Sensex, which means they invest in the same companies as these indexes. Now Sensex and Nifty, as most of you would know, invest in the largest and renowned companies of the country. So when you invest in large cap index funds, you are basically investing in relatively the most stable companies of the country as compared to the mid and the small companies. Large cap companies are well established and have a proven track record. So we can say that these companies are less affected by market fluctuations and economic downturns. So this makes them low risk. Now, as these funds have to replicate the index, there is no active fund manager or a team of analysts who have to pick the stocks. This brings down the overall cost of managing this fund and hence they charge a lower fee from investor as compared to funds which are actively managed by fund managers. This makes them low cost. Let's move to their performance. In the last five years, the average returns of large cap index funds has been around 14.11%. The average five year SIP returns stood at 15.34%. If you had invested 1 lakh rupees in an average performing large cap fund 5 years ago, it would have made you 1 lakh 92,540 rupees. That's little less than the double. And a 5 year SIP of 10,000 per month would have made you more than 9 lakhs. That's 3 lakhs as capital gains on your investment of 6 lakh rupees. Now, if you're a new investor not looking for tax saving and are not comfortable with a pure equity fund, you may opt for dynamic asset allocation funds. They're also called balanced advantage funds. Putting it simply, these funds invest in a mix of equity and FD like instruments, what we call as debt instruments. The fund manager keeps changing the equity and debt mix according to the market conditions. Understand it like this. Theoretically, when the market is going up, the fund manager can move to buy more equities to increase the gains on investments. But in case the stock market falls, 
the fund manager can book gains and move to debt. This will cushion the losses. Isn't it the best of both worlds? Well, balanced advantage funds can be a great choice for those investors who tend to panic when the stock markets fall. Let's look at their performance. Over the last five years, balanced advantage funds have given an average return of about 10.37% while the average 5-year SIP returns to at 12.65%. So if you had invested in an average performing balanced advantage fund 5 years ago, a lump sum of 1 lakh rupees would have grown to 1 lakh 62,890 rupees. And a 5-year SIP of 10,000 per month would have made you 8 lakh 39,834 rupees. That's 2.4 lakh rupees gain on your investment of 6 lakh. That was the first step of selecting the right fund for a new investor. Now moving to the second step, how to select the best fund in these categories. I hope by now you have figured out the category where you want to invest as a new investor. Next you have to figure out the best funds in the category that you have selected. For that what you need to do is simply go to the ET Money app and tap on the fund category of your choice and that's it. Each fund under a category has been assigned a rank. Now, ET Money rankings are based on the consistency in terms of returns and volatility. The purpose was to find out how consistently a fund has generated returns and also consistently ensured protection against volatility. So, a fund with the most consistent returns and most consistent protection from volatility got the top rank. Similarly, you can find out the best funds in any category of your choice. You can also find a detailed 360 degree view of any fund on the ET Money app. It is like the funds report card which tells you everything about the performance of the scheme. Hope this helps you pick your first funds. So don't wait and start your investing journey today. You can do that at 0% commissions for absolutely free on the ET Money app. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, do not forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues to help us educate even more people. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.